Before we get into the video, I know I look a hot mess in this video because I got a flu, a fever, a cold. I got something. I feel sick. Yesterday, I felt sick as fuck. I felt really bad yesterday. I feel good enough to do this video today. But I really didn't feel like doing no video today. But I know I need to get this video up, done with, and out. Um. So, yeah. I did not do my eyebrow. I did not do my edges right. I did not do my hair right. I did not even get fully dressed. I put on a little shirt and some shorts and that's sick. Because I don't feel like doing that. I feel too sick to be really doing anything. But I know I need you to get this video out. Got it, aka Chocolate. Now I'm back with another video. As you can tell by the title, this is a pregnancy update video. But before we get into the video, I need y'all to like, comment, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications by clicking that bell. Um, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. I need and I used A N Y A A N A I S E. And yeah, um, I'm not gonna speak on the week that I'm currently in because I just started a new week today so I cannot really speak on this week because I did not experience this whole week but I will speak on month one to now because this is my first pregnancy update so I'm gonna speak from when I first got pregnant until now in my next video I will speak on this week that I'm currently in but yeah let's get to the, the first question is how far along am I Today, August 19, 2019, I just turned 25 weeks, so I am 25 weeks today. So, yeah, I'm 25 weeks today. It's been a long, it seemed like it's been a short 25 weeks. It seemed like it's been a short 25 weeks, but it really been a long 25 weeks when I think about it, but me just like, oh yeah, it's been fast, but you know, this been a fast, short, 25 weeks, I don't even know how to explain it, it's been fast, but short. The next question is total weight gain. Okay, I gained a lot of weight to my, to me, to other people, they'd be like, oh, you didn't gain that much weight, but to me, I did gain a lot of weight because I'm not used to being this big. I'm used to being really small and tiny and skinny. But I started, when I, before I got pregnant, I was 104. Um, Yeah, I was 104. Now, today, August 19, 2019, I am 131 pounds. Y'all probably like, that's not a lot. But yes, that's a lot for me. And I know I'm going to gain more weight, but as of right now, I'm only in my 130s. Maternity closing, um, pregnancy closing. Um, I'm not wearing maternity clothing because I'm really not that big to wear um, pregnancy clothing. Just because I still could fit regular clothing. I could fit jeans, but wearing jeans is really uncomfortable for me to wear jeans because it's like tight, but it's, I don't know how to explain it. It's tight, but it's not tight. It is uncomfortable for me, and it's like 110 degrees outside, so I'm not about to wear jeans anyway in, in the summertime. It's too hot to be wearing jeans, so I do not wear pregnancy clothes, and I do not wear jeans. I wear regular shirts, any shirt I want to wear, I wear it, but I really wear um, biker shorts, shorts, skirts, dresses. That's all I wear because it's hot outside, and... I don't need maternity clothing. I don't need that right now because I'm not that big and I could still fit the clothes I've been wearing. But I do have three um maternity dresses. I just don't wear right now. I'm waiting for it to get cold outside, cool outside to wear those dresses with like a sweater or something. But right now, I don't need no maternity clothing. Next question is if anything is making me sick. Um, the one thing that really made me sick is actually um cheese made me sick. Pizza made me sick. I still like cheese and pizza, 
But while I've been pregnant, every time I see like cheesy stuff, like like liquid cheese, I don't know what to call it. Like cheese, like liquid. I'm gonna call it liquid cheese. When I see liquid cheese, I just be like, um, yeah, this cheese and pizza just make me so sick. Like I hate cheese and, and pizza. At the moment of me being pregnant, I hate cheese and pizza. I still eat it from now and then when I make myself eat it, but I'm not about to make myself eat it no more because during my whole pregnancy, I have not thrown up once until last week. I ate some pizza and some chicken, and that made me throw up. I just threw up all of that it was just so disgusting so cheese pizza and chicken make me sick to my stomach it be like why did i eat that why did i want to eat that why did i put it in my system that was disgusting but for that the baby just didn't don't like cheese pizza and um chicken period the baby do not like that jen and guess um, the whole time, I know my gen, I know the gender of my baby, I'm not gonna tell y'all because I don't want to. Y'all not gonna know, y'all not gonna know my baby gender when my baby come out. Because, y'all gonna know my baby by a blanket, I'm not showing my baby on social media. Because, people be talking about people's kids, and, you don't want to talk about mom because, you don't want to talk about mom, that's all I got to say. But, ever since I've been pregnant, um... I had the same gender guess, the same exact gender guess, and I just know my baby's gender, but I'm not going to tell y'all, so next. Um, am I having any labor signs? I'm not having any labor signs whatsoever. I'm not having fake contractions or anything. I feel perfectly fine. I feel perfectly fine. That's it. I feel good. No labor signs, no nothing. I feel good as of today. Okay, so my symptoms has been since um my 24 weeks to my 18 my 18 weeks to my 24 weeks that just passed my symptoms been body ache and my tailbone like my tailbone to right now like my tailbone hurt i can't sit down a pillow don't help nothing help with my tailbone medicine on her. Come on, doctor, be like, oh, you take, um, Tylenol. I took Tylenol. That didn't help. I took it one time and I never take it again. Because me personally, I do not take medicine because I think the United States trying to kill us. So I'm not taking no medicine. Unless the doctor give it to me. But then I'm not taking no Advil, no Tylenol, no nothing. Because the, the, the United States trying to kill us. I don't trust the United States whatsoever. I'm not taking nothing. Nothing they give me, I do not want. Because they're trying to kill us. Oh, well, my video don't get deleted for saying that. But, yeah, my tailbone been hurting since my 18 weeks. To my 24 weeks, my tailbone been hurting. Today, I am 25 weeks, so my tailbone might still be hurting. I think it's still going to hurt. Nothing helps my tailbone. I can't sit on something soft. It still hurt. I can't sit on something hard. It hurt worse. Um, when I'm getting up, it hurt. All of that hurt. Um, my hips been sore the whole 23 weeks and the 24 weeks. My hips been really sore. Like, just, I just got body ache. Like, my body hurt. Like, I just can't get up as fast as I used to be able to get up. I can't move as fast as I used to move. Just little stuff like that. Um... The other day when I was sitting in a car, one leg went numb, like completely numb, like I couldn't feel my leg. I couldn't feel my leg that day in the car. My body been sore since, um, my body been sore for a while. Like my 22 weeks, my 23 weeks, my 24 weeks, 
I don't know. My body been so baby been getting worse. So it probably did gonna get worse. What else? Um, when I was first pregnant, my month zero. I mean month zero. Month one to month four. Um, I was really sick. Like I was nauseous all the time. I was hungry and nauseous, and I had to eat for my nauseous to stop. I just been really nauseous from my month one to my month four. I was really nauseous, and that's about it. I ha I didn't have no morning sickness, but the nauseous part, but I wasn't throwing up. I didn't throw up at all until I ate that pizza and that chicken last week. That's it. Um, what else? Right now, my tailbone hurt the past two, three weeks. Probably longer than that. My tailbone been hurting for a while. Um, my girls got bigger. Like, do you see? My girls wasn't this big. My girls got this big at nine weeks. I think I was eight or nine weeks. My girls started growing, getting big, and they have not stopped growing. They get bigger and bigger and bigger by week. They get bigger. From my month one to my month four, um, I don't know what they call it, but it's when you have like bad breath. So when I was having bad breath, I would literally brush my teeth all day, every day, because I hated the taste of my mouth. I hated the smell. So I'd be like, brush my teeth in the morning, brush my teeth again in the morning, brush my teeth again four times in a day, two times at night. I'll just keep brushing my teeth so the smell could go away. Brushing my tongue harder and harder, um, using m much more mouthwash than I usually use to keep my the odor down is a pregnancy thing. I don't like it and I don't they could keep that. They could keep that. That shit disgusting if you ask me. Hair growth. My hair and nails okay, my hair and nails already grow super fast. Like if I cut my nails if I wasn't if I wasn't pregnant and I was to cut my nails, my nails would go back in two weeks. Um when I get my hair done, my hair grows super fast anyway. But since I've been pregnant, I could I literally cut my nails at least two times a week and they go back the same way. Like this is cut nails. And I just cut my nails. I just cut my nails. I got glue on my nails. I just cut my nails at the beginning of of last week. I cut my nails and they're already going back. My hair been growing like crazy. I'm about to take these braids out because these braids just look raggedy to me. Braids be looking raggedy to me because my hair been growing super fast. Like, when I say my hair going faster than before, my hair going super fast. And y'all would know I already got long, thick hair. So, what me being pregnant is it made my hair longer, 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 longer. Um, Those are the symptoms I could think of. If I think of anything else, I will put it at the end of the video. Okay, my food cravings been simple. We've been my food cravings actually stay the same. My food cravings stay exactly the same. It really haven't moved. Like during my whole pregnancy, I'll be craving crabs, 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 and like the seafood, not fish, but just like crabs and shrimp. I'm craving sh um, crabs and shrimp. Um. My third month, I was craving Doritos, and what is it, rice, Doritos and Rice Krispies. Um, my 22 weeks to 24 weeks, I was craving pineapple soda and ginger ale soda. And knowing me, if y'all know me, y'all know I don't drink soda, so I know that was a craving. My whole pregnancy, I've been craving crabs. I keep crabs now and still want crabs. Um, what else have I been craving? I don't think I've been craving anything much more than that. Like, those are my biggest cravings. Yeah, those are my biggest cravings. That's it. It's getting hot in here, so it looks like I'm sweating. I'm kind of in. I had lotion on, too. Um, the next one is stretch marks. 
I have not been seeing any stretch marks on my stomach or my thighs or anything like that. So I'm going on stress marks and I oil my stomach and put on what is it? Mother's best friend, I think that's the name of it. I put on mother's best friend on my stomach. So I have not had any um stress marks. I'm not gonna really talk about the stress marks in this video because I'm gonna do a whole different pregnancy video on stress marks and preventing stress marks and etc cetera, etc cetera, etc cetera, in a different video. How am I sleeping? I sleep good every night, honey. I don't got no problem sleeping. I don't got no problem sleeping. When I first got pregnant, I had a problem sleeping a little bit. Um, My one to four months, I had a, a little bit of problem sleeping, but not that much. Now, I don't got no problem sleeping, honey. I sleep through the night, honey. I sleep through the whole night. I've been sleeping through the night for a while now. I don't got no problem sleeping. Um, the only thing that bothers me when I sleep is when the baby is kicking because the kids got so hard. This is what I'm feeling. That's exactly what I'm feeling. Like, the baby punching me, kicking me, everything. That's all I feel when I'm sleeping. But that's it. I still sleep through that. Ain't nobody gonna stop me from sleeping. I sleep good. I sleep good, honey. Period. I sleep good. <laughs> Say nah. Baby movement, um, the doctor said I was supposed to start feeling baby movement at 18 weeks, but, um, after I left the doctor, like, two days after I left the doctor, I turned 19 weeks, and then I started feeling baby movement at 19 weeks to now. Um, since I was 22 weeks or 23 weeks, I could feel the baby moving more and more, like, the baby is constantly moving Every day, all night, all I feel is kicking and hitting. Um, I feel the head like the baby would, it would put the head up like this on my stomach. So on the outside, you could see a lump. That's the head. Um, yeah. Since I was 22 weeks, 23 weeks, I could just feel the baby moving more and more. The baby getting stronger and stronger by the day. I could literally feel the baby getting stronger and stronger by the day. Body changes, I'm not really having all the body changes as everybody else um have or had. The only body changes that's really changing on my body is my girls. They've been bigger, they got bigger since I was eight, nine weeks, and they still continuing to grow. So you my girls got big. Y'all can't tell, but I could tell um my thighs. Got bigger, y'all probably can't tell, but I could tell. Um, my butt got way bigger. Like, from my waist lower, I've been getting bigger, and my girls been getting bigger. My face been getting a little bigger. So now, I'm just going to show y'all pictures of my belly. crop top on because I'm in the house and I wanted to show y'all. Yeah, I don't, I feel bigger than I was before, but yeah, that's my belly. That's the end of this video, so like, comment, subscribe to my channel, turn on post notification by clicking that bell. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at Anya, and I use A N Y A A N A I S E. And I'm out. <laughs>